Hello everybody, welcome back to Bark Church. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's uh, early in the morning here, I think it's 6.45. It's foggy, you can't see a hundred yards. Bad foggy. I guess the temperature's changing a little or something. But what I was wanting to talk about today, I'm gonna go over a few things that you might wanna have on hand just in case of ever a grid down. This might help your home security a lot. So when you think about home security, what's the first thing that pops in most people's mind? Most people think about one of these, a real one now, not a toy for home defense. And I agree with them, you do need that. But there's other things for home defense that you can look into also that's less lethal. I'll show you a couple of things here, in my opinion, that you might want to have help you protect your home a little bit better. These little things right here, for the money, in my opinion, is one of the better things you can use around your house for a little bit more security. And what these are, these are battery powered alarms. I'll take one of them out here and let you see it and let you hear how loud it is. These little alarms have a sticky back that you peel off to where you can stick them to a door or window. As long as they're together, they're fine. But as soon as this one gets separated from that and you can hear what goes on. That's pretty loud, especially on a quiet day. So it's real nice to have these positioned around. I, I would recommend having them on all your windows and doors in your house. Them are a cheap way for a little bit more security around your house. So these are real cheap. I give $2.50 a piece at Dollar General for them. And if I'm not mistaken, you can get them at Harbor Freight, probably at Lowe's. You might even get better quality. This quality don't seem real good, but for $2.50, that adds a lot of security to your house. If somebody's breaking in, your chances of defending your home is a lot better if you know when somebody's coming. You could even put these out on gates to your front porch. They would work there as long as they're in the dry. I'm sure if these was in the weather, they wouldn't last long. The second thing that I want to talk about is radios. Power on. 15. These are just cheap little radios. I seem like a two pack of them was maybe $20 on eBay. They're a bale fang. I've had pretty good luck with bale fang radio, but these are just real close range radios. And in my opinion, around a home, that's all you need. There's no need of spending a fortune on them. These are charged on a charger. That's one thing I didn't like about them because this battery pack could go bad or something. So I bought an adapter that's supposed to go on here to where you can put, it's either double A or triple A batteries in it and run it off regular batteries. I would suggest if you're getting these, in my opinion, you need ones to use batteries because I think batteries would be more available for a while than it would be able to find somewhere to charge this. Unless you have the solar generators and stuff. Now, if you have the solar generators and things, these might be all right for you. Say if you go out to the barn, something goes on at home, your wife, kids, somebody can get a hold of you with this. The third thing for less lethal security around your home is going to be, in my opinion, a slingshot would be real handy. Now you can get real accurate with these. My grandpa with homemade ones used to kill birds and squirrels with a, they called them a flip, but they're better known as a slingshot. You're not always gonna to wanna to do lethal damage to anything that comes around your house. Last night was a perfect example here. My little dog woke me up in the night fighting and growling. I went outside 
and there was a stray dog had came up here in the yard and was jumping on him. Well, I had to run that dog off. I didn't want to hurt him. So less lethal can come in handy at certain times. The fourth item that I want to talk about for home security would be a pair of binoculars. Now, in my opinion, I would get a pretty decent pair of binoculars. The more you pay for them, the, usually the better they are. These are red fields. What your better pair of binoculars does is in low light conditions, you can still see with them. A cheap pair of binoculars, when it's bright out, you can see fine. So you just have to make that decision because you can get real cheap binoculars and you can pay outrageous for them. I can't remember what I paid for these, but like I said, they're several year old. But when it starts getting dark, you can still see pretty good through these in low light. They have better glass in them, I reckon, that draws more light. And that's what you're paying for. So this is just four things that I was thinking of today that I'd share with you. These are just in conjunction with lethal means of protection. I would want lethal means of protection at home, but these are just some options of less lethal. So these are just a few things that I was thinking of today that can help you secure your home. It can help you during a grid down event or a shift event, or it can help you just anytime. It's nice to have these things. And there's lots, lots more that can go with this to secure your home. This is just a small portion of it. These was just four that I was thinking of here this morning, sitting here drinking coffee. I thought I would share them with you. So I'm waiting on my buddy to come over to pick me up. I'm going hunting with him. It's the first time me and him's been hunting in a long time. We used to hunt together all the time. And I don't know, I reckon we just got older and don't hunt as much or something, but he's coming to pick me up. And we're gonna go spend the day hunting. Y'all have a good day. I thank y'all for watching. I pray God blesses you, and I'll see you in the next one.